I'm going to show you how to make cowboy coffee. Alright, first you get really good water. This water is uh, comes from an RO water filter. I suggest to do that. We're almost full. We're going 10 cups in this 12 cup pot. So there we go. We're going to pour this into here. Okay, now we have it on the, the burner. You can do this over a campfire. You don't need a machine. We're getting close to a boil. This is a water bottle from just a standard, you go to the store and buy fancy water, comes in this bottle. It's a great coffee storage bottle. The reason why it's so great, it's got a narrow, narrow tube and the there's less oxygen in we there. We filled this up to 10 cups. We poured the water in there. Now the water's almost boiling. The ratio is 10 cups to one cup of grounds. So I've got this, it's already ground. And then we just pour it in here. There's our cup. One cup of grounds. We'll wait for a vigorous boil. Now we're getting to a vigorous boil. It's taken a few minutes. It's taken extra long because I'm standing here watching it. <laughs> you know how that goes. Okay, now we're at the point of action. So let's shut it off. Now we're going to wait a minute for it to settle down. Okay, now it's been about a minute. Now that you can see it's steaming. Now it's time to pour the grounds in. Then you take a spoon. Then you take a spoon and you get the crema at the top. You just, all you want to do is just gently stir in the grounds. Here we go. And now all the grounds are wet. They're so, and you see the crema right there? All good. Now we set the timer for three minutes. And wait. Well, we're getting close. It is 4th of July and we're enjoying watching the boats on the river out there and family and friends and all that good stuff. And now we're ready cowboy coffee. So what I do is I'll give it a, I'll shake the handle just a little bit, let it jiggle. The ground somewhat settled down. Now I've already taken the, the craft from the coffee maker and then the coffee screen and I'll just pour it right in there. This folks is how you make cowboy coffee. And that's okay to have the grounds in there. Let them drain, let them cool down then you scoop them out later. And your filter just touches. That's a good looking cup of coffee.